unfortunately when i'm live streaming and processing 4k video i do need to use a computer for that and so there are differences and there are scenarios where a chrome device works really really great are chromebooks more useful than windows 11 are they easy to do a hard reset like an android phone uh, that's a great question i love that let me cover the easy part of that chromebooks make it really easy to reset and chromebooks wow they've just got this fantastic feature which makes maintenance very very pleasurable on a chromebook now you may not know this but chromebooks actually have two copies of their operating system inside the chromebook just think of it like two brains and when one brain is being used for the computer as you're working on it in the background it's updating the second brain now if you're using a windows computer and you've ever gone to shut it down and it says hey i need to do updates and then it takes 15 minutes to do those updates well you never have that problem with a chromebook because your updates are happening in the background with the second version of the brain. And then all you need to do is reboot the computer. Bang, hey presto, you're into the new version of the Chromebook. Now, for whatever reason, if it doesn't boot or it doesn't load, it's got its other brain as a backup and it'll go back to that. But I've never had that happen in 10 years of using Chromebooks, never been an issue. Now, can you wipe them easily? Yes, because you have that two brain system, Android can easily have a fresh copy of the operating system to revert back to when it needs to. You don't need to install USB sticks or CD ROMs or anything like that to try and get a copy of your operating system back into the computer and refresh it. If you want to reboot a Chromebook, all you need to do is go to the settings, click on power wash, and it will completely wipe that machine, take it back to standard operating environment, and then it reboots and you can log in again from scratch. So I love this, great, great, great stuff. Now, is it easier to use than Windows? Well, that's a bit of a more nuanced answer. Chrome is a simpler operating system. It is absolutely bulletproof. It doesn't have viruses, malware, spyware, and those kind of things that infect the operating system. There's just next to no vulnerabilities for Chrome. It's pretty much a Linux computer. So if you've been around long enough, you would know that Linux is pretty rock solid. Not the most user-friendly out of the box for most business people because there's apps and services that we want to use. But Chrome has been designed to work around the Google ecosystem and it's been designed for business users. Now, you can't install Windows apps or Mac apps on the Chromebook. So you can't install Photoshop, you can't install Microsoft Word, although you can install the Android versions of many different applications. So there's a bit of a workaround, but it's not perfect. But what Chrome is really, really great for is working on the web. Now, most tools and most businesses now are pretty much operating in the cloud and on the web for most of the work that we're doing. Our business applications are probably web-based, our task management is web-based. Obviously, all the Google ecosystem is web-based as well. So for the most part, you can get by with anything you need to get done in your business life with the Chromebook. Now, it may not be the device that you choose to use if you want to edit videos. If that's part of your job, it's not going to be a good move. But if you're a leader or an executive in a business, Chromebooks are fantastic. The thing that I love about it is because it's a bit more limited in the apps that it can run, it forces me to delegate things to my team. And I've been using Chrome devices as my primary devices for nearly a decade now. Now, when I'm on the road, and right now I happen to be using a Mac because I am unfortunately live streaming, and the kind of power that I need to live stream just isn't really what Chromebooks are designed for. I need a machine with a dedicated graphics card, and while Chrome devices support heaps and heaps of RAM, and you'll never slow them down even if you open 20 or 30 or 50 tabs, if you have enough RAM, well, Unfortunately, when I'm live streaming and processing 4K video, I do need to use a computer for that. And so there are differences and there are scenarios where a Chrome device works really, really great. I'm a big believer in them. Our CEO, Scott, uses that laptop as his daily driver. I use Chrome devices when I'm not doing a live stream. And I love them for all of my work because they're simple, they're effective, they are blisteringly fast, and they are very secure for your business as well. So check it out, try them out. If you're interested in a test of Chrome before committing, you can download something which used to be called Neverware, but it's now called Chrome OS Flex. And Chrome OS Flex is the Chrome operating system that can be installed on third-party computers. Now, it misses one or two features. You can't run Android apps on them, but you can plug a USB stick with Chrome OS Flex into any computer and boot into Chrome OS. And you can test it out without having to format or wipe your hard drive. It basically just loads the operating system up into RAM and you can use it as a tester without destroying any of your data. So if you're interested in trying out Chrome or a Chromebook rather than purchasing a piece of hardware, my recommendation would be to check out Chrome OS Flex, download it, put it on a USB stick, plug it into your existing computer, Mac or PC will work fine and give it a try. 
see what you think and let me know down in the comments what you think when you give it a go. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. If you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.